Hi everybody, this is Oksana. Today I'm going to show you this technique right here. Um, this isn't a finished piece that I'm making. I'm just showing you how to do this style of, I don't know if you want to call it weaving or wrapping, but basically this right here, I'm calling it the coiled coil. I also put the tubular weave in the title because I've heard people say, you know, it kind of looks like a tube. Uh, but basically, I'm going to show you how to do this little design right here and then you can incorporate it in whatever you want, pendants, rings, bracelets. So if you want to see how to do this, then keep watching. So the first thing you need is a really long coil. This is just a single coil, like if you're just to take a wire and coil a thin weaving wire around it. Um, except in this case, I did it on the um, coiling gizmo which is like a little tool. It's kind of hard to make a really long one on there because you have to kind of keep moving it off. The thing that you coil on is really short. So anyways, if, if you coil around a wire, yours would already be around a wire, but mine is not, so I'm putting a wire through here. Normally I do 28 gauge and uh, 24, but today I did 26 just because this is for something that I'm making, but normally 28 works well. So um, I'm just putting a thin wire through it and usually I take um, about twice the length of this wire that goes through it as there is of the coil because as you coil around which we're going to do next um, around a base wire this is going to kind of spread out a little bit all right so once I have it on I kind of slide it to the end so here's my little end here and um, I'm really bad at measurements so don't um, you know don't ask me like how long do you need for it to be a certain amount like I have no idea I just guess and I try to make things longer than they are so I can remove the excess but um, I don't do I know there are like formulas and spreadsheets out there so if you're that kind of person that is very analytical and numerical then you can do that but basically you need a thicker gauge wire. Uh, 20 gauge works well. I happen to have 21 because today I'm working with brass and I'm just working with the gauges that I have. But I take it, I keep it on the coil. Again, because I don't really know how long this is going to end up being. Um, I leave myself a little tail here just, you know, so it's easy to work with. Um, this little tail, you can cut it off right now. You can cut it off afterwards. It's really up to you. Let me try and get closer here. Um, but what I do now is I take this and first I'm wrapping just my 24 gauge just a couple of times to anchor it. Sorry if that's not zooming in. Can you see that? Um, I know they're all spread out and stuff, but this is something I fix later at the end. So now I'm sliding this up. I'm holding this little tail and just kind of pinching everything with my nail here so this doesn't slide down. And now I'm taking this and I'm just coiling it around as if it were just a normal wire and I'm just wrapping, you know, one wire around the other wire. And that's really all you do. Mine's kind of long, so it's getting tangled here, but this is basically all there is to it. You just keep going this way and there you can see the start of my coil and I'm gonna come back in just a minute once I have this nice and long and I'm gonna show you the very last step all right so here it is I just kind of pinched down the ends here with my pliers I cut this actual wire Let me back away here basically this is my finished piece here and what you can do now, you can, this can be, you know, all done and you can use it however you want to use it in your piece. Um, or if you want to make it even fancier than it already is, then you can take some more wire. I'm just going to keep mine on the spool here. Um, I am going to use a 24 gauge just because this is what I happen to have on hand. You can use um, 26 gauge as well. I'm sorry, not 26 gauge, 22 gauge. 
that'll work for this. Or, you know, whatever look you're going for. Obviously, you know, if you use a thicker wire, this is pretty thin wire. I probably wouldn't go thinner than the 24. Um, but, you know, if you use thicker, it's just going to have thicker lines in between here because that's basically what we're doing. It's just we're going to be wrapping this in between. So I'm going to start... My camera is having a really hard time focusing today. I'm going to start right here, right before this little area here, just to like really secure it. So I'm going to do one little loop, and then I'm going to start overlapping now over the other weave here. Oh, I'm sorry if you can't see that. I'm just basically just wrapping around. Okay, so then once I get to this, see how there's kind of like a little entrance if you were to follow this trail of, you know, in between these little coils. So I am going to press this along that trail. And you do not want to pull hard. If you pull it hard, it's going to pop right in between them. And I mean, maybe you will like that look if you want to give it a try, but it's going to be different. The look that I'm doing here is basically it lies right in the little grooves. So it's not, um, you know, it's almost like on top. Here, let me show you what that's looking like. So here's what that looks like. See that there? So, um, you know, if you like that, you can do this additional step, but I'm just going to complete that all the way around. You have to be careful. Look all the way around as you're doing this. Do it slowly because you might slip and not be in the groove and then it's all like crooked or something. So you kind of have to be careful with this. Take your time, but basically this is... Um, what I am gonna continue doing. All right, so here it is when it is all done and You can just incorporate it into whatever piece you want to incorporate it into you can even make a little bracelet out of it, but um, That's it. That's the coiled coil. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye